Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel DJ and Kid. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about a project that initially was very hyped and was named the Google of Blockchain. And um, that project is the graph. So the graph, I wanted to try and understand and see by looking at some of the stats and um, prices at the moment to see if this was a good project to invest in right now. So let's get straight into it. So if I load up the graph first on CoinGecko, Let's just get that loaded. So the ticker for the graph is GRT. So currently we're trading at, well, pretty much five cents, at five cents, close to, uh, close to six cents, call it that. Um, and we are down 3.4% in the last 24 hours. Currently ranked 77 in terms of total crypto market cap. Circulating supply is 7.4 billion and total supply is 10 billion tokens. So if we take a look at the fully diluted valuation, 571 million versus a current market cap of 423 million, which kind of aligns to be honest. So, um, you know, it doesn't look like, you know, if there's a lot of, um, there, there's a lot of tokens to kind of hit the ecosystem. Um, so hopefully there shouldn't really be too much price impact um, when tokens do unlock. And if you take a look at the all time high for the graph, all time high was $2 and 84 cents. And currently we're 98% off that value. So, if the graph is a project that you are interested in, you know, this is definitely the time to be buying as we're 98% down. So we get a, a huge discount there. But if we take a look at the graph and just kind of see what it is and take a look at some of the developer activity. So if I load up the website, so the graph, so basically what the graph is, is it's an Ethereum smart contract indexing protocol. So it organizes blockchain data for DAP developers. And it can be seen similar to, to the way that Google, Yahoo, or Bing um, operate. So it's kind of like a search engine. Um, so in terms of, you know, the project itself, the project was initially started in 2017 uh, from some software developers and did end up going live in December 2020. So in terms of what indexing is, indexing basically allows for time reduction um, to find a specific piece of info. Um, so if you think about it, when, um, you know, if you had a book, for example, um, in that book, rather than reading every single page, you go to the index and you find, you know, the information that you're looking for. So database indexing is pretty much similar to that, operates in the same way, looks to achieve the same result. So, um, you know, it makes the, um, the finding of the information very efficient. So in terms of the website here, so APIs for a vibrant decentralized future. So the graph is an inde indexing protocol for querying networks like Ethereum and IPFS. Anyone can build and publish open APIs called subgraphs, making data easily accessible. So with with the subgraphs and so on. So so basically you have indexers um, which are node operators of the graph. They stake the graph tokens. They run a graph node. And their main function is to index a subgraph, and they do that and and keep the I guess the the ecosystem the ecosystem and the network um, very effective. So here, just a little bit more info, a little bit about what um you know how the graph kind of works um from a visual perspective. And again, guys, you know, come over to the website and have a look, and obviously do your own research as well. Um, a little bit here about the governance, reliability, security, and so on. Supported networks. The following chains are supported. In addition to Ethereum, the graph is adding support to the graph network with near and EVM compatible chains. So um, it uses Ethereum, obviously, and EVM compatible chains as well. So, you know, the likes of Moonbeam and and um, some of the other ones that they have listed here as well. Um, so the graph network, just a little bit more info about the developers, indexers, curators, and so on. So if we go down here to the backers, so the project was very hyped when it came out and it's backed by some of the best, to be honest. I mean, you've got Coinbase Ventures there, Digital uh, digital Currency Group as well, Stakefish, you've got Powerfy. Um, so some big, big backers there in terms of, um, you know, who is supporting the project. And obviously that kind of makes, well, makes me a lot more bullish on the project in the longer term, just knowing that, you know, they've got the backing of these um of these investors, obviously with the likes of Coinbase, um, generally when you see, you know, Coinbase or Binance back in a project, you know that that project will 
eventually end up hitting that exchange and coinbase is obviously a huge exchange as well and i think um the graph is actually on coinbase anyway so you can get access to the graph on on that um on that crypto exchange and um yeah guys so that's um the website there ecosystem let's just see what that is so it's just a bit more information about what the graph does and how it kind of operates products i'm sure there's somewhere here where you can actually stake the graph as well but obviously guys take a look at um the website and do your own research in terms of kind of the um statistics um so basically with the graph um initially as i was saying the project was very hyped you know aiming to be the google of blockchain but then there was kind of like a bit of a drop off in that hype and um what we've got here is a is a coin telegraph um article which basically looks at some of the statistics for the graph and um and sees how um the network is actually growing so blockchain index so the graph says adoption is still strong two years after mainnet launch and here you can see some of the stats so total number of developers on the graph both active and inactive increased by 145 percent to 38,000. same period average graph um, query fees per month increased by 1191 percent so really good statistics there in terms of um in terms of increases on um on the graph protocol so here as well graph the grt queries on the decentralized network increased by 984 percent to 5.2 billion so you know when you look at when you read articles like this it kind of makes you bullish on the graph even though you know there may, may be some kind of um you know negativity around it in terms of uh, i've seen a lot of people saying that the graph's a dead project but realistically it's not i mean there's still developer activity going on there's still um you know statistics that are rising on the graph and if we take a look at uh, crypto miso as well so generally i take a look at this to look at statistics for um developer activity on um on the protocol so here obviously you can see icp is leading the way this is the last 12 months information here if we go down to the graph so the graph i'm sure is on on here somewhere so there it is, ranked 35th, um, so 760 commits. So that's um, commit on GitHub. Um, and here you can see, yeah, uh, you know, the likes of um, the projects that are below it in the last 12 months are the likes of Avalanche, Ethereum. So Avalanche has got 710 commits. ETH has got 689, Algorand. I mean, some big projects that are literally, you know, below um, the graph in terms of developer activity. So yeah um, you know it, it kind of puts it into perspective that the graph are still building i know we're in a bear market and um you know the prices don't really reflect um a great increase but then again as we are in the depth of a bear market you know this is um this is the reality and the graph are it looks like they are actually building on their project as well take a look at the um uh the twitter account so 246k followers so a fair healthy amount of followers there and just some of the latest kind of tweets that they've been putting out so hopper and the graph you know there's a partnership there it looks like and if we keep going down connects and the graph so there's quite a lot of news and information about what they're doing on um on the twitter page so guys definitely come over and take a look at the twitter page as well so i just also had a look at some of the price action in terms of the graph so i put some quick calculations together and um yeah the, these are just kind of my calcs that i put here so current price for the graph is um is 0 0.05 cents and all-time high was two dollars and 84 cents so if we were to achieve all-time high again at these levels that would be a 50x on um on current prices and um yeah you know if we were to achieve that that would be a a massive massive upside to um you know to to whatever investment you put in now um and also from a kind of like a circulating supply perspective so all-time high market cap for the graph was six billion and to put it into perspective what i've done here is just kind of said if um circulating supply didn't change so if the same circulating supply um that we've got listed now is um is there when the next i guess if we 
do achieve that all-time high again at 6 billion, which realistically I think will end up doing higher than 6 billion. But just to put it into context, if we've got 7 billion tokens in the market, we achieved an all-time high of 6 billion. That price at all-time high levels with um, 7.4 billion um, circulating tokens would be 82 cents. So if you were to invest at 5 cents today, you know, you've literally made 14x on that um, on that price, which isn't which isn't too bad to be honest. It's um it's a good a good upside to have, but realistically, the in reality, if the graph is um is still you know a top one hundred coin when the next bull cycle comes around, I think we'll be blowing six billion market cap out of the park. So you know you can look at potential um more upside there. But then again, circulating supply tokens, there's going to be probably a bit more tokens in the ecosystem as well, but. To put it into perspective, you can easily, you know, bank on maybe a 15 to 20 X um, in the next bull run. If the graph remains in the in the top uh, top 100 tokens um, from a market market cap perspective. And if it is, then, yeah, we can easily look at like a 15 to 20 X on the graph. So in terms of my opinion, what I'm kind of doing with the graph at the moment is um, I like the project. I'll be honest with you. I like the project and um you know, I'm putting a little bag aside, so I'm buying at these levels at five cents. I don't really think you can go wrong. I mean, you can literally invest like five hundred dollars and get a fair amount of um, of tokens there. And um, yeah, I'm just putting a bag away, and um, yeah, hoping for the best in the next bull run. But obviously, guys, this is purely my opinion, so nothing that I say is financial advice. So please do your own research if you do look to invest. But um, yeah, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the graph. Let me know if you feel like it's a good token, a good project. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.